Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is going to be on drugstore skincare. The topic of the day is three must-have anti-aging ingredients that you can get at the drugstore. So you guys know that I am way into anti-aging and the thing is that ingredients are key. You can't just go and buy anything that says it's anti-aging because a lot of the stuff is unproven or just doesn't work or isn't formulated correctly, especially at the drugstore. But there are some, there are a few standout products at the drugstore that really can deliver you some anti-aging results and not break the bank. Anti-aging must-have ingredient number one is a retinoid. Retinoids are the gold standard of anti-aging ingredients because they have the most robust research behind them showing that they work. What they do for your skin is they help your skin to build collagen at the cellular level. On the surface, they help to make your skin turn over faster so it has a little bit of an exfoliating quality. It will reduce wrinkles and fine lines. It will reduce discolorations. It can plump and firm your skin. So it is really the anti aging heavy hitter. And of course, you guys know that I do use the prescription retinoid in my skincare routine, and that is tretinoin, which of course you can get at the drugstore if you have a prescription and you go to the pharmacy, but we're talking about just the drugstore aisles here, where you unfortunately cannot get prescription tretinoin here in the United States. If you're outside of the United States in some other countries like Mexico or Spain, you can just walk into any drugstore and grab a prescription strength retinoid right off the shelf. So that's what you guys should do. Or if you're traveling to any of those locales or having a quick layover, just go to the pharmacy at the airport and grab yourself some prescription retinoid. As with most of the anti-aging ingredients, there are different versions of retinoid. So retinoid is the umbrella. And then within that, there are the prescriptions ones, which I've just spoken about. And then there are the over-the-counter versions. For the over-the-counter versions, the weakest one, which is the one that I would recommend for you if you're just beginning with a retinoid, you've never used one before, or if you have super sensitive skin, then the retinoid that I would recommend is retinol. This is gonna be your over-the-counter version. You can find it in lots and lots of different brands at the drugstore. But for a beginner retinol, what I would recommend is either Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Cream or something like Olay Regenerist Retinol 24. This one's a serum, they also do make a cream version. Of the two, I kind of prefer the Olay Retinol line over the Neutrogena just because this line you can get it in fragrance free. All of their products also come in a fragrance free version and they add a little bit more to the serum beyond just the retinol. So these guys will have a good dose of retinol in them, but they also contain niacinamide, which is another one of my favorite anti-aging ingredients, and they also contain a peptide. So comparing them head to head, I prefer the Olay 24 over the Neutrogena, but they're both really good retinol products that you can get a good basic retinol at the drugstore. I recommend retinaldehyde for people with drier or more mature skin who really want their retinoid to do a little bit more than like a starter retinol, but that's also not as irritating as a full-on prescription tretinoin. The thing with the retinoids is that they can be a little bit irritating. So on the scale of retinoids, you have tretinoin, which is the most effective and also the most irritating. Then you have retinaldehyde, which is kind of the middle ground. It is slightly less effective, but but also less irritating. And then you have retinol, which is gonna be like the least effective and also the least irritating. So the drugstore retinaldehyde that I love and recommend, although I hate to recommend it in a drugstore video because while it is a brand you can get at the drugstore, it's from a Venn, the price point is a little out of the drugstore range, I think. It retails for about $70. This is the Aven Retronal 0.1. But if you're looking for something at a lower price point, My Shell also makes a retinaldehyde serum, which I've also used and I highly recommend. And it's at more of a $30 price point. And you can actually find that at the drugstore. And then there is another product that is kind of similar to the my Shell one and at about the same price point. You can't just walk down to your drugstore and get it, but that is the May Love Moonlight Retinaldehyde Serum. Very, very similar to the My Shell and works great too. I use all three and I use them kind of interchangeably and I love them all. 
And I wanted to mention one last retinoid for people with oily or acne prone skin or people with a lot of discolorations. And that's a retinoid called adapalene. Adapalene is a next generation retinoid. So it's similar to tretinoin, but not exactly the same, but you can get it at the drugstore in the form of Differin. Now Differin started off much like tretinoin as an acne medication, but then they also noticed that it had uh, anti-aging properties as well. So this isn't as well studied as tretinoin. There is some newer research on it saying that it does have anti-aging properties and it's particularly good at fading discolorations, but it can be drying even though it is supposed to be less irritating than tretinoin, it still can be drying and it can be very irritating. So with any of the retinoids, ease into them slowly, make sure that you don't start, you know, just putting them on every night using tons of it because they can dry out your skin, they can cause a little bit of irritation, and always be sure to wear a sunscreen during the day when you're using any retinoid at night. And if you need more information on how to get started with a retinoid, I've done a whole video on that. I can link that right up here and also in the info box below the video. And while you're down there looking in the info box, don't forget to like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And also links for all the products I'm showing you will be in the info box below the video for quick and easy shopping. All right, so let's Let's move on to must have anti-aging ingredient number two, and that is going to be an alpha hydroxy acid. Now the alpha hydroxy acids are another umbrella term for lots of different ingredients. You've probably heard of the main ones, which are glycolic acid and lactic acid. These are great ingredients to have in your anti-aging skincare routine because their main function is to exfoliate. They brighten the skin and they reduce discolorations. They do that by loosening up the glue that holds dead skin skin cells on the surface. For beginners or people with sensitive skin, I recommend only using an alpha hydroxy acid about once a week, something like the Derma E Overnight Peel. This contains both glycolic acid and lactic acid. This is a leave-on overnight peel, so I would only use this about once a week to start. And on the night that you use it, I would not use a retinoid if you're using one. Just wash your face, put this on, maybe put a moisturizer on over it and go to bed and then you rinse it off in the morning. Then for people with oily or acne prone skin, I'd recommend a product like the Alpha Skin Care 10% Glycolic Acid Lotion. What I love about all the Alpha Skin Care products is that they tell you the pH of the product right on the label and the pH of alpha hydroxy acid products is so important. They have to be formulated at a lower pH, otherwise they will do nothing for your skin. And I've done a couple of videos on testing the pH of different products. I can link one of them right up here for you so that you can hop over and see what the correct pH is and which products do actually work because you may discover that the product you're using is one that didn't have the right pH. And so you're spending a lot of money just to put basically a moisturizer on that's not gonna exfoliate and isn't gonna do what it's supposed to do on your skin. You could also try something that combines an alpha hydroxy acid with a beta hydroxy acid. So the alpha hydroxy acids exfoliate the surface of the skin, but beta hydroxy acids, there's only one, it's salicylic acid, that exfoliates inside your pores. So if you're prone to have clogged pores, then a salicylic acid can help. So a drugstore product that you can get is the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. This would be like a once a week peel that you could use. You put it on, you wait 10 minutes, you rinse it off and then you're good. You've done your alpha hydroxy acid treatment for the week. And then for people with more mature or dry skin, I'd recommend a lactic acid. The Ordinary makes my favorite lactic acid serum. They make it in a 10% lactic acid or a 5%. So if you're just a beginner, you can start with the 5% and ease in slowly and then work up to every day. And then after you get acclimated to that, you can bump up to the 10%. But this is good for people with drier skin or more mature skin because it's a little bit gentler than the glycolic acid. So you're not going to have as much of a reaction to it. There's less chance of having irritation. This is great for more mature dry skin because lactic acid has been shown to increase the ceramide content in your skin. And ceramides are fatty lipids that deplete as we age. So they're like a naturally occurring fatty lipid that we all have in our skin. But as we get older, our skin makes less and less of it. So using lactic acid can help 
to increase the ceramide content in your skin so that will help to plump and firm your skin while doing all the great exfoliation benefits. All right, my third must-have anti-ager from the drugstore is, of course, sunscreen. I know some of you guys get tired of hearing me talk about sunscreen, but sunscreen is so important for anti-aging your skin because the sun's rays cause 80 to 90 percent of the damage to your skin and the aging that you see on your skin. So you really need to stop getting that sun exposure and stop exposing your skin to the sun. And one good way to do that is to wear sunscreen every single day. Plus, if you're using a retinoid or you're using a glycolic acid or any kind of an alpha hydroxy acid, beta hydroxy acid, you should be wearing sunscreen because they exfoliate the skin. That dead top layer of skin can be a little bit sun protective. So once that starts to thin out, then your skin has a little bit less sun protection naturally. So you really need to put on the sunscreen when you're using those products. So for beginners or people with sensitive skin or people with really dry skin, I recommend the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen SPF 30. This is a tinted mineral sunscreen. It's good for people with sensitive skin because the mineral sunscreens don't irritate your skin. You can use it right around your eyes and there's generally no irritation from mineral sunscreens. This one is also very hydrating. I talked about ceramides before. This sunscreen contains ceramides which you can replenish by applying them to the surface of your skin. So it's very hydrating. It's very very soothing, and you can wear that all day, every day with no problem. Then for people with more oily or acne prone skin, I recommend the Australian Gold Botanical SPF 50. This is also a tinted mineral sunscreen. This one comes in three shades. And then another product that I like, probably more than this one that I recommend for the same group is the My Shell Sun Shield SPF 50. This one also comes in three shades. So these are really good. It just depends on if you like a cream or more of a lotion vehicle. This one's really thick. It acts more like makeup, more like primer. It smooths your skin, it controls oil, but it can be a little bit drying. So that's why I recommend it for people with oilier skin. And then the My Shell is so beautiful on the skin. If you've never found a sunscreen that you like, then you should give this one a try because it is so lightweight and so fluid. It doesn't feel like anything on your skin. It dries right away when you put it on, but it's another all mineral sunscreen. So it's not gonna irritate your skin and it has a matte finish. So if you have enlarged pores or oily skin, it's going to help to keep your oils under control. It's gonna to help to make your pores look smaller. So that is a really good one. And then for people with normal skin, you can wear just like a regular chemical sunscreen. So my two favorites from the drugstore are the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Liquid. This is an SPF 70. Or I also like the La Roche-Posay Anthelios AOX Daily Antioxidant Serum with sunscreen. SPF 50. These are both very lightweight, very fluid. They go on the skin really beautifully. They don't leave a white cast and they work great under makeup. Actually, all the sunscreens that I'm recommending for you here today all work great under makeup. And I know some of you are going to be shocked that vitamin C isn't in this video and on this list. And it's mainly because it is one of the most important anti-aging must-haves, but it's hard to find it formulated correctly at the drugstore. I've done a video on the those as well about the testing and the pH that they have to be at. So if you're looking for a really great vitamin C serum that you know is at the correct pH, I can link that video right up here as well. But otherwise, that is it for today's video. Those are my three must-have anti-aging ingredients that you can get at the drugstore to start off your anti-aging skincare routine. I think this is a good place to start if you're going into anti-aging. You don't want to go in with too many ingredients all at once. Of course, you know, you need a moisturizer. I could go on and on, but if you want to see my whole anti-aging skincare routine, I can link those videos in the info box below this video as well. So you can see all the different products that I use, many of which are from the drugstore. So that is it for today's video, everybody. If you found it helpful and informative, go ahead and give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.